Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Rival Boxing RB5 bag mitts. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so today we're going to do a close-up weigh-in and review on these Arrival RB5 bag mitts. Got mine in size medium in the red colorway. These are full genuine leather. I believe these are made in Pakistan. And these are basically a, a more advanced version of the old school bag mitt. Now, if you look back in history at some of the old photos and videos of, of boxers from, you know, decades ago, guys like Joe Lewis, Jack Dempsey, Rocky Marciano, uh, you know, the list goes on and on, uh, Sugar Ray Robinson, you'll see uh, them typically using these kind of bag mitts for bag work. Um, and that's really to help with punching power, power transfer, proper hand ergonomics, creating a perfect fist, and just overall technique. And um, these are some of my favorites, and I love using bag mitts for bag work just because of that. So looking at these mitts, you can see it has kind of this uh, stitching pattern that goes over the knuckle area. Um, they use, I'd say, about a quarter inch uh, thick piece of EVA foam on the inside that has a medium to firm density. You have that rival logo on the outside edge right there, a Velcro strap that gives you, you know, a decent amount of wrist support. Obviously, these are not meant to be the most padded and well protected gloves. So, if you're looking for something that would maximum protection, shock absorption, wrist support, all of that. Um, then you probably want to look elsewhere, but for those of you that are looking for a great bag mitt, then I think this will suit your needs. Um, you have the Velcro strap there, it says RB5 bag mitt. I got mine in medium again, black piping on the cuff. Uh, Tricot liner on the inside. You do have about, I'd say, a quarter inch of uh, foam on the back of the wrist. On the inside, there is no wrist support on here. It's, it's just that piece of leather. There's the Velcro strap again. You have a mesh palm for breathability. A closed off thumb that is loose obviously like most bag mitts so you're either going to have a closed off thumb or they'll have one that's cut open and you can see the tip of your thumb uh, a medium sized grip bar that's nice uh, with the ergo light system so yeah that's pretty much it looks like a really solid glove and over the knuckle area you can see uh, some markings there for me using the actual bag mitts but um, this medium foam density eva uh, foam does a really nice job of getting that, that good pop and feedback. So there they are next to each other. I'll go ahead and put these on the scale. I'm not sure how much medium sized bag mitts will weigh, but we'll find out. So the right bag mitt is right at, let's just round up to four ounces. And the left one is exactly the same weight, 3.9. So let's round up to four ounces each. So exactly on the on weight with each other. Let's go ahead and do the review. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. and Today I'm doing a review on the Rival Boxing RB5 bag mitt. I got mine in red. You can also get it in their traditional black and orange colorway. Uh, decided to go with size medium. They have four sizes total, including the medium. They have a small, a large, and XL. So just depending on your hand uh, dimensions, you can go on their website to check out their sizing chart to see which one's the right size for you. Now, I've been interested in these bag mitts for quite some time now. Um, my favorite current bag glove or bag mitt, if you want to call it, uh, is the Rival RB50, which is basically a, kind of like an advanced version of this glove, uh, where it has the IntelliShock, the D3O technology built into it. It does have an ergo strap system built in as well. Um, so you're basically getting kind of the old school feel of a bag mitt, but with more advanced, newer technology built into the glove. Uh, now, that one obviously is, is more expensive, is about twice the price of this RB5. Uh, but with that being said, I definitely like this uh, bag mitt, especially for those of you that are looking for kind of that old school feel, want something where you can really make a nice tight fist, feel every punch coming through, excellent power transfer, um, then this is definitely a, a good choice for you, which we'll go into here in a little bit. So. First off, design-wise, you can see it's, it's a pretty attractive looking bag mitt. One thing you'll notice is that it has kind of this slight curve to it. And what, what that does is it actually it looks weird from the outside when you're looking at it. You would think that the bag mitt should be straight, right? When you're looking at it, but 
the actual curvature of your hand is uh, made specifically for that. And when you put your hand in there, you'll know exactly what I mean. So uh, when you're looking at your hand, and the way your knuckles are aligned when you make a fist, yes, your wrist is kind of in line with your, with your hand and your fist, but the way your knuckles kind of tend to go is they have a little bit of a slope to it, especially starting at your top and your middle knuckle going down towards your pinky. And the way that this is formed is that when you make a fist with this bag mitt, uh, it kind of lands that way. So when you, when you roll your hands over, you can actually see that it has that slight slope and that's actually perfect. So it's, it's excellent design and thought that goes into this bag mitt. So uh, you can see it's full genuine leather construction. This is made in Pakistan. And uh, you can see the stitching right here that kind of comes up and over. That stitches that EVA foam. They use about a quarter inch thick of medium uh, density, a little bit medium firm density foam over the knuckle area that goes all the way down to the back hinge point. You do have a Velcro strap, which is a, about a two inch Velcro strap. And that has that cloth rival boxing gear uh, tag right there on the back of the strap. Full piece of Velcro right there. It says RB5 bag mitt M for medium on the back. You do have, I'd say about a quarter inch of uh, firm density padding on the back of the wrist. It says medium right there. And then flipping over to the palm side, I'll open it up. It does have this nice tricot liner on the inside. Black piping all throughout. There is no support padding on here on the inside palm side. Uh, you can see it does have a closed off thumb that gives you uh, ultimate mobility and flexibility of your thumb. You also have a mesh palm that helps with some breathability. You can feel the liner kind of rolling against it. So there is a liner on the inside of the hand compartment uh, before you actually hit that mesh palm. So you don't actually feel this mesh material against your hand on the inside because there's still that tricot liner. You do have a medium sized grip bar that has a good amount of density to it. The Ergolite system is basically their way of, of, of saying that it uses this lightweight EVA foam on the inside. So that's basically uh, their technical jargon that they use for that. Um, and that's pretty much it. So obviously there's not much to bag mitts. Uh, I guess the best part about them is their simplicity. So uh, there you have it. Quality wise, it's pretty good. Um, I'd say the only areas that I had issues with was going to be the stitching around the knuckle area. Um, one thing I'm not a, a big fan of is when they stitch over the knuckle area because this is right here. You can see some of the markings from me using the bag is uh, the striking surface. So a lot of times when you roll your hand over and you make a fist, this is gonna be exposed uh, and the stitching eventually is just starting to start coming out. And you can see right here where my pinky finger is starting to kind of come out as well. Um, you have these perforated holes, which is uh, just kind of more of a design. I think it's aesthetics. To me, that doesn't do anything. Uh, offers no breathability. I think it's just, again, just for the looks of the glove. Um, and notice that the D3O gloves have this little perforated hole look as well. So maybe they were just trying to look, kind of keep the same look with the RB5. But to me, um, they really don't do anything, to be honest with you, <laughs> uh, outside of just, uh, again, aesthetics. Uh, so I'm not sure if that does anything performance wise. I know it's not breathability because uh, there's nothing on the inside there that that goes through and offers any difference in performance. Uh, Velcro strap is nice. You can see the cloth patch on there is done pretty well. You know, no issues there. Again, I'd say the big opportunity here is gonna be stitching uh, where this Velcro strap meets the corner right here. You can see some of the stitching starting to kind of fray. Uh, you have a, a pen marking right there and you'll see that a lot on gloves where uh, the manufacturer marks it because they're cutting the leather. So they usually use that as kind of like a template. Uh, piping looks pretty good on the inside right here. Liner's good, no exposed foam. Um, you can see the leather on the inside, the grain of the leather right there. Uh, stitching could be done a little bit better on the inside right there, but it is what it is. Uh, again, some of that marker, I think it's like a silver pen that they used to mark when they were cutting the leather. You can see a little bit of that extra uh, marker there. Mesh palm looks good. The thumb is closed off nicely. Uh, don't have any issues yet with the seams there with the thumb. It would have been nice to have a little bit more reinforcement on this thumb section where it kind of makes a U-turn right there. Uh, that way, once you open and close your thumb, because you're gonna be opening and closing your thumb, parrying, pretending you're parrying shots. So that needs to be reinforced. Grip bar looks really good. And stitching on the fingertip looks really clean. Uh, so overall, a really nice looking uh, bag mitt. The leather quality on here is really good as well. Has more of a satin finish to it. Again, I'd say the biggest opportunity is gonna be stitching over the knuckle and on this Velcro strap.
Now, comfort, sliding your hand in here, putting on this Velcro strap. So one other thing I noticed too is when I'm closing this Velcro strap, you see I have a little bit of excess right there if I wanna go in. So my recommendation is maybe to extend the female side of the Velcro a little bit further out so you don't have this, this tab open. Now, obviously you, you shouldn't be sparring with this this bag mitt at all, so you don't have to worry about, you know, scraping somebody with the open Velcro, but uh, just the fact that it has that lip on there is kind of a, not a good thing. So, you know, if you're gonna go over the Velcro, maybe just add a little bit more Velcro there, that way it kind of closes off itself. Uh, you know, the comfort, bag mitts are really hard to beat in terms of comfort because they don't put a ton of foam in here. Uh, the thumb is completely loose and detached, so you have full mobility with your thumb. You don't feel like it's awkward. Traditionally with bag mitts, you're, you typically don't wear hand wraps. That's not to say that you can't, it's completely up to you. But traditionally, I've always uh, just gone bare hand with bag mitts. That's the other good thing is for the convenience factor. If you're going into the gym to do bag work um, and you're using your bag mitts, traditionally, if you're not wearing hand wraps, it's much easier just to slide these on and put, you know, take them on, put them on and take them off. So that really helps out with um, speeding things up and being able to get your gloves on quick. Uh, but excellent mobility with the, the, the thumb. One thing I was concerned with uh, was if the grip bar would be in the, in the uh, perfect spot. And it is, it kind of curls right underneath this section of my hand. So I can make a really nice tight fist with this. The finger compartment feels really good. Obviously there's not much to it. It's just kind of a pocket that your finger sits in right there. Um, but the ergonomics feel really good, comfort's there. Now, one thing I will mention is that as I, towards like the sixth and seventh round, so say you're doing three minute rounds of training on the back, right? I would say about, to the when I got to like the sixth and seventh round, I started to notice that I got kind of a rubbing, rubbing feeling against my knuckles. Almost that feeling that you get when you know you're, you're, you're you're, like if you have shoes on or you have gloves, you notice that you're gonna start getting blisters. That feeling that you're about to get a blister, that's what I started to get on my knuckles from hitting this. So one thing I'm thinking about doing is wearing wraps to see if that makes a difference with these because again, not in the early rounds. If you start working with these and you do a couple rounds, you probably won't notice it, but if you're doing anything kind of, any kind of extended training on the bag, you'll definitely notice that the knuckles you know, you have that quarter inch layer of EVA padding, but I noticed that it started to rub a little bit and I got that sensation of getting blisters. So uh, um, I only had one more round to do when I was training with them. So I took them off and I didn't get any blisters, but do keep that in mind. But comfort is definitely there. You can make an excellent fit, nice and tight. Uh, really nothing more to that. Uh, wrist strap feels really good. Uh, overall, a really great feeling bag mitt. Now protection and performance, aside from me telling you about the blisters, um, this is one of those, again, one of those things where if you're looking for optimal wrist support, if you want a lot of shock absorption, these are basically the opposite of that. These are bag mitts that are made for power transfer, for excellent hang ergonomics, for technique, to develop your, the, the muscles in your wrist and in your, your fist, kind of give, give it that calloused over feel um, when you're using these. So uh, they're excellent to me for medium to softer density filled heavy bags. Um, if you're going to be using it on one of those really solid rock hard heavy bags, um, you can do it. You'll get excellent pop out of these, um, but they don't give you, they don't offer very much shock absorption. So if you do have knuckle problems or hand injuries, you definitely will fill it with these, with these bag mitts. So do be wary of that. Now, if you don't have any hand issues, and then by all means, uh, if you're in a gym where you have multiple heavy bags, I would probably go around and test it on the different density heavy bags and feel which one feels the most comfortable hitting it. Um, because the last thing you wanna do is damage your hands. So one thing to be mindful of with bag mitts is that you increase the risk of also injuring yourself if you're, if you're not used to using these, if you're used to using more heavily padded bag gloves that are more supportive and have you know, multi-layer foams this is gonna be a different experience than those. So be mindful of that. If anything, start off with a little bit more of a softer filled bag, um, then maybe work your way into something a little bit more denser if you want to, but do be mindful of that. But these give you excellent pop. I mean, it's, it's literally a quarter inch layer of EVA between your knuckles 
and whatever you're hitting with these. Um, so that's what you're really getting with these gloves. You can really feel when you're throwing your shots, you can feel them just digging right into that bag um, and it feels excellent. I love that feel of being able to really just dig my shots in and it really work the bag. So definitely a, a, a great feel. Um, I'm really pleased with how I, I, you know, I, how I hit the bag, the sound of it uh, with these RB5 bag mitts. So overall, uh, really uh, high performing bag mitt. Cost wise, these are $34.99, uh, which uh, is an excellent price. Um, you know, I think at the price level being at, that they're genuine leather, they're comfortable. I mean, craftsmanship wise, they could use a little bit of tweaks as far as the stitching goes but you're really gonna be hard pressed to find something at this price point at $34.99. Uh, that's genuine leather, that's comfortable, has a, good, you know, a decent amount of padding over the knuckles for a bag mitt, uh, has a Velcro strap around it. It's definitely an, uh, overall an excellent bag mitt for the price, so $34.99, definitely gonna be hard to beat. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. As usual, I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these RB5 bag mitts. See you guys next time. Peace.